Hi, this is John C. Murphy for No Part Dark. In this video, I will be explaining how to use open type fonts in Cinema 4D. Cinema 4D does not support the use of open type fonts as of version 11, so I will be describing a workaround. Now, normally, when you want to display text in Cinema 4D, you just place a text object into the scene, then coming to its attributes panel under the object tab, you change the text to whatever you want it to read. Now, if we render at this point, we see nothing which is to be expected because all we have at this point is a spline object, which are null, meaning they don't appear when rendered. You have to add some depth to it, making sure it's selected, and then while holding down the Alt key, selecting Extrude NURBS. This adds some depth to our spline. Now if we render again, we see that it does appear. Taking a look at this Extrude NURBS, we have a couple of things that we can change. There's the cap, which is that thing on the front, because the extrusion is actually the sides, it's adding depth, but the cap is the surface in between the splines. There are also a couple other options available to add some effects. But the problem arises when we come back to the text object, and here under the fonts, you have true type and postscript fonts available. Let's say we choose a font like Myriad Pro. Now, when we select it, our text disappears. So, what happened? If we take a look at our fonts folder, what we'll find is that Myriad Pro is a .otf file, which stands for Open Type Font. Cinema 4D doesn't support this format, so the workaround requires that you have to generate a spline yourself for it. This can be done through the use of Adobe Illustrator or a similar vector graphic editing program. So going into Illustrator, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to select the Type tool here and make sure it's the correct font that I want. Type in my text. Now I'm going to convert this to a spline. For Illustrator, the way you do this is under the Type menu, you select Create Outlines. As you can see, that creates the spline outlines for the text. Now we have to save it in a format that Cinema 4D can understand. I'm going to select Adobe Illustrator document, that's a .ai format. Now it's necessary to select the Legacy Illustrator 8 format. That seems to be the only one that works at present. Not only do these newer versions not work, Cinema 4D won't even give you any error to indicate what happened, it just won't be able to open the file at all. Now going back to Cinema 4D, we can now import that file by going File, Open, and there we have it, it's brought the spline in. Now you'd think we'd be able to just extrude this by holding down Alt, Extrude Nerves, and once again, nothing happens. And the reason for this is if we expand this thing that was just brought in, we see that it came in as multiple paths. So we need to combine them. So select all the paths that were created. Under the Functions menu, come to the Connect function. Now don't confuse that with a Connect tool on the neighboring Structure menu. So perform the Connect function. You'll see that a new path is created, which is the combined version. We can delete these old ones now. Add an Extrude NURBS. We see that it actually works. So that is the workflow that you have to employ to get OpenType fonts into Cinema 4D.